Actually, I'm glad I'm not on the one south because the road on the opposite side coming the other way is all chopped up. There must be a reason that a cemetery out in the middle of nowhere would be so well kept. I'm guessing these are the graves of veterans? I don't even know. I won't speculate. Never mind. These could be anyone's graves. What a creepy looking building. A lot of ancientness here. Should I stop here for gas or just keep on keeping on? I'm not desperate enough yet. Please give me a sign so that I know I'm going the right way. I have no idea where I am. Still haven't seen any signs to let me know if this is the right road to be on. Still have no idea if I'm on the proper the highway. I haven't seen a sign in like 15 miles. I don't know if this is the one anymore or not. Which is of some concern to me. It's been like, I'm, I've been paranoid the whole time because I, I don't have GPS and I'm used to traveling by GPS. And I'm trying to have faith in myself a little bit, but when you don't see any signs at all that tell you what route you're on for 15 or 20 or 30 miles, you start to wonder. They don't even have speed limit signs posted on this road. I mean, come on. Come on. What kind of boondock backwater country town is this? Oh, I didn't realize we had come close enough to see the ocean again. It's nice. I like the ocean. What's this? Is this a Valero gas station? Debating whether or not I should stop here. I don't know how long it is till the next gas. Do I have to turn here to stay on the one or no signs? No signs? Great. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Oh, highway one, okay. Good. So, theoretically, I should be able to get another 90 miles or so out of this tank of gas. Well, I'm not too worried. Maybe I should be, but I don't know. To me. Like, people think of California as sort of an up-down, north-south kind of a state, but when you travel the coast, you spend a surprisingly large amount of time going east-west or uh, diagonal, you know, kind of like this, like that way. You don't spend that much time going north-south until you're almost halfway up. It just, I don't know, surprises me for some reason. Well, it doesn't surprise me because I already know that that's the case going in, but uh, it I, I keep forgetting, and then I, I have to learn it over again. 
That was good. You know there's a stop sign there, jackass. I'm extra worried about getting lost because it's so late in the day now, the sun is so low in the sky that if I get lost, I'm probably not going to make it to the campground before dark, and I really want to make sure I get to the campground when there's still a ranger there to let me in and assign me a spot. Because, I mean, I reserve the campsite, but you, need, you, don't, you don't get told which, uh, which site is yours. Reception. Please be able to tell me where I am. Yes! Pismo Beach. Oh, San Simeon. Oh, I'm not that far away, actually, right? Don't be a bitch. Yeah, okay. 42 minutes. Oh. Oh, an hour. Okay. It's getting farther away. That's okay. Well, let's see what all these texts are about. Slow. iPhones are pieces of crap. Oh, sunset's not until 8. I've got plenty of time. Wow. Granted, this iPhone is three generations old, and the fourth generation out is almost here, but still, it's like pathetically slow. It's obvious, it's, it's painfully, blatantly obvious that the slowdown that this phone is getting is artificial, that it's like with each successive iteration, of iOS that comes out, the operating system for the phone, they make it a little bit slower on purpose. And I'm sure that that's because they want it, you know, they want you to buy the next iPhone, which will have a faster processor to handle all the bloat they throw on there. But really, it's, I mean, I'm using the same apps that I've always used on the phone since day one, the day I bought it, like almost two years ago, the exact same apps that used to open the instant I, I tapped on the little icons, and now, like, I tap on the icon, I gotta sit there for like a 10 count while I wait for these little shits to open up. It's disgusting. <sighs> but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stretch it out as long as I can. I'm gonna get every, you know, get as much out of the money I put into this stupid freaking iPhone as I can possibly do. The one thing I do like about my iPhone, the one advantage of it is that uh, I've had it for, yeah, I've had it for almost two years, and I still, 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 to this day, can get almost two, uh, two days. Actually, you know, if I use it sparingly, I could still get over two days worth of use on a charge. And I mean, I don't use it super heavily. I don't sit on it and play on Facebook all day long or play a lot of games on it. I mean, I will go on Facebook on it. I'll play the odd game here and there, but I'm not on it constantly. And, you know, with, with a reasonable, moderate amount of use, you can get you, you can get two days out of an iPhone charge easily. When I first got it, I could get three days out. And now that the battery's starting to age, I'm getting less. I'm getting only two days. But, you know, battery-wise, I think this phone will last me a good another year, two years. It's just... <sighs> The dreadful performance issue is what's really got me upset with it right now. I'm thinking about upgrading just because of that, but on the other hand, you know, like I said, just as a stick it to the man kind of thing, I'm thinking maybe, you know, I want to stretch it out with this phone as long as I can. Convenience be damned. Save the dollars. Oh, the one merges back with the 101 again here. That makes me sad. What a beautiful scenery. Uh-oh. What's this all about? Somebody getting pulled over? Oh, yeah. Uh, I gotta keep my eye out for a gas station here. Yes, yes, yes! 